So, guys, look, I know, if some of you guys use MuseScore 4, some of you guys might have encountered an issue where the playback is laggy as hell, crackly, and it's just unhearable. Like, you just you just can't use it without wanting to shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> and ever since that, I had to move back to MuseScore 3 for quite a while because it just worked better, to say the least. However, I have come across... A temporary solution. This is not a permanent solution. I'm not saying this might guaranteed work. However, this little juicy info might help out a little bit. It, it truly might help. Like, if I'm you do, playing this right now. Like, you just can't hear this. Yeah, it's disgusting. You can't... It's unlistenable. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of these dynamics because I don't need them. And, yeah, I know, this isn't a completed song, and you guys are probably wondering, like, screaming. It's like, oh my gosh, all of this is wrong. You need to add this, this, and this. Oh, your figured bass is off. Give me a break. I'm a senior at a high school, all right? <laughs> I'm doing a lot more than everybody does at the school right now. Like, I, 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 I've composed a lot of music. Um, I'm actually working on this for a friend of mine because she's been extremely supportive with my songs. Now, this might, like I said, this might not guarantee work for everybody, but I found out this works pretty dang well. And there, like I said, this is just a temporary solution. There has been an update released, though, however, saying that, oh, they fixed the issue and it works with Windows West app. I've updated it. Nope, doesn't work. I checked for maybe updates to my audio driver. Maybe that needs to be updated. Nope, fully up to date. So I don't know what the issue is. Maybe I just need a stronger PC. Literally, all I got to do, add the mixer. Look. No crackling. I... I, I don't understand. <laughs> Literally, all you do... You can even turn the mixer off, too. Well, okay, it does glitch, like, if I have it off now. Like, oh, this is terrible. Turn the mixer on. I... Yeah, that's that. I mean, yeah, the downside is you don't have enough workspace. You could probably minimize it or at least shorten it up, and you can add notes. Like if I wanted to, I think I haven't actually tried this yet. Uh, oh my gosh, I clearly haven't used this in quite a while. <laughs> uh okay. So, yeah, but how do I? Damn it! I hate this. I don't know how to use this. Oh, here we go. It's that pen. So yeah. And like, ooh, actually, I came up, yeah. So that's the solution, folks. Like I said, I apologize that this might not have helped at all, but I've came across a temporary solution for some reason. It helps, and it works for me. I really, really hope in the future that they do fix it completely because I love the software. It is, no offense, it's much better than MuseScore 3. It looks nicer. And the only thing I wish that they would have is inverted scores where the notes are whites and the paper is black. That would help a lot, especially for me see reading the notes better. If you guys actually can figure out a plugin, please let me know. Feel free to leave the link down in the comments or something. But I hope you guys enjoy this short video. Like I said, I apologize. I hope this works for you guys. I know it's kind of an inconvenience and it's only temporary. But if you guys really, really, really want to use MuseScore 4, I guess that's the best way to do it is to open the mixer. Like... Again, I'm going to show you one more example just to prove I'm not, like, clip clickbaiting or dicking around. Also, the one complaint I have, too, I don't know why it has to open up an entirely new application just to open a score, but I'm not complaining. And it's going to say this is corrupted, but it's not. There's nothing wrong with the score. This is my first full concert piece I've made. It doesn't sound very good. It still needs some edits. Yep, close the mixer. Like, all right. Oh, wait, I have to wait for everything to load. Oh, it's probably going to crash. Yeah, look at this. It sounds terrible. I can't listen to that. Nobody can. Open mixer. Hang on. There you go. It sounds fine. Now, I just want to let you guys know, too, I have no plugins of any kind. I haven't downloaded any anything off of MuseScore Hub 
or Muse Hub, nothing like that. It just, for some reason, works, and I don't know why. But yeah, that's all for the video, folks. I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to share this with your friends if you think that will benefit them or work for them. If it doesn't work, I apologize, but this is the kind of the sliver of hope I can give you guys so far. Anyways, folks, have a good day, and I'll see you in another video. Woo!